from biologists in this spec point we're going to be taking a look at the role of enzymes in catalyzing reactions in both intracellular and extracellular reactions now enzymes can be involved in the cellular level and the whole organism level so in a cellular level we can see reactions that occur with inside a cell such as hydrolysis or condensation reactions and then the whole organism level they are involved within the development of an organism, which you learn a little bit more about at A2. So for now, we need to know what the properties of enzymes are and the definition of a biological catalyst. So they have a tertiary 3D structure. Their shape is specific. And this enzyme structure can be disrupted at high temperatures and extremes pH. And what they really, really like about this is they do ask you a lot of questions here about how this can impact upon the function of enzymes if the temperature is high or if the pH is high or something like that. But we'll look a little bit more into that later on. So enzymes control the rate of chemical reactions in their globular proteins. If you need to, there is a video in the description below about globular proteins. Now, enzymes are also known as biological catalysts. So the bit in the red box there is directly from the MART scheme. We need to know that definition. They, they work in metabolic reactions by lowering the activation energy, and they are not used up in the reaction. So activation energy is the energy needed to start a reaction. So as you can see in this graph here, normally the activation energy is quite high. But if I use an enzyme, it lowers the activation energy needed to start the reaction, and therefore the reaction is going to occur a lot more easily. So that's the role of chemical reactions and enzymes role in those reactions. We're going to take a look now at intracellular and extracellular reactions. So um, there's a couple of definitions coming up um, to help us understand a little bit more in terms of how they are used within the body. So anabolic reactions, this is where enzymes are used to create larger molecules, whereas a catabolic reaction, this is where um, enzymes are involved to break down those larger molecules into smaller ones. Intracellular reactions occur within inside a cell and extracellular reactions occur outside of a cell. So the difference is between intracellular and extracellular. First of all, they're both made, they're both made inside the cells, but the extracellular enzymes do not work inside the cell. They have to be released by the cell, normally in a process called exocytosis, to be used outside of the cell. So, for example, some examples of um, extracellular enzymes would be those used in the saliva, such as protease or amylase. So they are made inside cells, but they're secreted out of the cells by exocytosis to be used in the saliva in, for example, the mouth. Whereas it, intracellular enzymes, you've got things like DNA helicase, DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase. All of these enzymes work inside the cell, um, involved in different reactions such as protein synthesis or DNA replication. There are two specific enzymes here that we need to be aware of and it's just a case of learning those. So we need to be aware that um, we have intracellular reactions um, that are um, performed by an enzyme called catalase that works inside liver cells to break down hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and we also have extracellular enzymes such as amylase and trypsin. Uh, amylase is used to break down carbohydrates and trypsin is used to break down proteins. And that's everything we need to know on intracellular and extracellular enzymes and the role of enzymes within a cell and at a whole organism level. Good luck with your exams, guys. All the best.